um, this is the boxer with the official record of 17 fight, four wins, one defeat, and one draw. Six of the wins came by way of knockout from the fifth square boxing gym here in Accra. Presenting to you the boxer, Lauren Jaffe. And this is the boxer with the official record of one fight, one defeat. Presenting to you the boxer from the Akutuku Academy, the team that nurtured and groomed the likes of Ai Bazooka Kote and Zoom Zoom Azuma Nelson. Presenting to you the boxer, Elvis Mesa. Super featherweight contest between Elvis Mensa from Makotoku and uh, fifth squares Laura Jaffet. Jaffet in the blue try to open up. He's just waiting for the right time to throw the bomb. But I think Laurent Jaffet is waiting anxiously for him when the opportunity comes and those hooks, those punches, those body shots are actually working on Elvis Mensa. It's not about your body, but it's about the tenacity to withstand. Well, I like the way Jaffet has opened up nicely in this round, taking it to Elvis. Ah, that's a big one to the uh, head of Elvis and a wild miss. Elvis Mensa, that is actually keeping him even on his feet now because Laurent Jaffet is opening and he's throwing those wild punches just to catch him off guard and to end the bout. I mean, notwithstanding, he's coming from fifth square under the tutelage of Latekwe Hammond. And again, good round for Laura Jaffet. Opened up nicely, scored a few shots. Laura Jaffet calling out to the fans as he corners Elvis. It's a give and take affair. Elvis is still on his feet, but it's Laura Jaffet who's battling out. The best thing for you to do is just to go into a clinch, just to wear away some seconds off. So Jaffet once again gets Elvis in the corner. Elvis still stands on his feet, goes in for the clinch. Able representative of Fit Square Boxing Gym. Again, Elvis is cornered. And he's at the receiving end. Oh, Elvis still stays on his feet though. He seems to have recovered. Takes one to the head. Elvis. Couple of punches uh, back. Elvis guards goes up. Jaffet tries to uh, penetrate. But Prince, I'm seeing this to be very, very strategic. Because Elvis wants to go to the, to the ropes, sustain himself, and then throw all those barrage of punches. Is he, is he a punching bag? He should just come out and fight. And that is why he's in there. He's going in for a challenge and now you cannot fight. No, he's got ferocious punches. And that is where he believes. Strategy applied by uh, Elvis is making the fight too one-sided. Elvis having a go at it. More of a target practice. Elvis tries to fight back. Lands a big one, Elvis. But Jaffa still stays on his feet. He just go into a clinch. So Jaffa again continues the target practice. Elvis keeping his guard up. Tries to open up. But Jaffa scores a few. This is a strategy adopted by Elvis, and I believe this is not going to help him. Sensing uh, Elvis may have had a cut. He's fighting through it though. And I'm sure he would love to have a last go at it before. Elvis have had it all. He has been beating. He has been beating like a toddler. 
He has been beaten. He has been shown boxing ring craft here at the Bukum Boxing Arena tonight. His intention to come into the bout was very wrong. To wait for your opponent to come to you. So now we have the verdicts. Judge 1 scored about 54 to 60. Judge 2 scored about 54 to 60. And Judge 3 scored about 54 to 60. By a unanimous point decision, the winner, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the boxer, Lauren Javis. Congratulations.